Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here. I want to take you through kind of a fun project I've been working on. This is a rough working prototype here. Uh, it's a wind-powered water pump made out of simple things you can find laying around at your house. It's a bunch of junk. Uh, what I'm going to use this for is to actually pump water from one of my fish tanks, uh, my above ground and below ground fish tanks, up to the next one, helping with aeration and filtration of my water for the fish. I just want to take you through from this point of view first uh, how this thing works and what I've got going on here. Uh, first of all, you see coming down below here, see this shaft coming down? That's actually going to be the piston uh, rod right here. At the bottom of it, I'll, I'll get closer later on. At the bottom, I have two washers with a couple pieces of leather sandwiched between them. And the leather protrude out past the washer just slightly, allowing for a pump seal. Uh, the outside of this pump housing is going to be this piece of pipe. Uh, outside. It's a piece of PVC. That's going to ride inside of that. I'll put that together later and show you it in action. I just wanted to show it to you before I got it all hooked together and before all, all the stuff was connected. So right now, I might give it just a little bit of a, a turn start here. And I'm going to show you that, that cam action where I can actually pull down right here and create that wind jenner blade to turn around. So as you can see, Gives me a nice cam action down on the piston shaft here. And that's going to allow for pretty good pumping of water. I don't need a lot, just a little squirt every time is all I need for the wind we have here is pretty constant. So there we go. I'm going to let that slow down. Show you a couple other little quick pieces of it. Uh, off the bottom of the shaft here or the main stabilizer that lets it rotate. Uh, what I have here, I'm going to sit back down. It's going to be a piece of black corrugated uh, septic pipe or water drainage pipe. It's gonna actually gonna connect up inside of here, like you can see this, right to the bottom of this black paint can that's coming through here, and out through the bottom of the pump housing here on the wood. This is gonna sit there and allow it to spin with the pump housing inside of it, my pump case. And that's gonna allow the pump case to actually rotate inside of this uh, to pick up water instead of having it try to rotate dead still like this. I had a problem trying to find pieces to make a, a single pivot point that would allow a shaft to go through right there. So I had to create something a little, uh, little larger and I'll show you it up close. Give me just a second to reset the shot. All right, here we are back again. I'm gonna pull this piece of wood right out of there for now. Just wanna show you how this mechanism works and what it's built out of. This piece right here is just for uh, mounting the blades to is extra steel. I was thinking about putting some neodymium magnets on the back side of this to light up also a light over the fish pond. So that'll be later on on this project. But that's just a flattened out fly or, uh, alternator fan. Uh, the center bolt you see through here, you see the tip of it sticking out right there. That is actually the jack bolt for a camper jack. Uh, I just thought, you know, it was a nice long shaft, something that would work well. Uh, inside of here, I drilled some pieces of wood out for that piece to go through and I cut a couple handlebar chunks from a bicycle for the bolt to actually spin inside of so the bolt wasn't grabbing against the wood gave me a, a protection sleeve and I did the same on the other side here. A uh, very simple design here. Uh, you, you can see I just have a single bicycle spoke pin. I, I took some brass pieces, some washers from the bicycle, I drilled all the way through the shaft and these and I put a pin in there to lock that all on with this piece sitting right through the center of it. So that goes down through the center, pin locks it into place. Just a cut out piece of aluminum here. I'll just show you how I got it going. Took a little bit to get the uh, little pivot places and everything worked out. Inside of there I have little cut out rings that uh, stay stabilized and give you a bearing kind of to rotate on. It's a little flimsy at the moment but just trying to get the idea to work. And as you can see here as it rotates it brings that cam and that piston all the way up and down like that. That's all you need to create that pump action off the back of it. So like I said, this is just a crude design, but this will probably work for quite a few years <clears throat> powering my fish tank. Excuse me there. So here we have the uh, rotation base. And I just want to go over this. You can see the handle still sticking off the bucket. I left that on there as actually a lock so I could lock it down and stop it from rotating around. Um, all it is here is a seal plate and you can see it's a little front or back weighted at the moment. That's why I had that piece of wood up here it was kind of countering that weight down. I still have some stuff to put on here. Uh, but this is just a piece out of an old uh, air conditioner from an RV. It was just inside of there, a seal ring, the old squirrel cage fan used to be down inside of there. 
So I just mounted that ring onto the bucket. I also mounted the whole wooden wind propeller holding system here in the, the vein, kind of rough, uh, right to the bucket. And that's all sitting just with pure weight right now on top of there. Underneath it, you can see here I have a bicycle rim. That's given me another stabilizer down lower, much stronger, smaller in diameter so it keeps a tighter fit on the bucket. And underneath here, I have a couple screws sitting off the bucket keeping it so it can't rise back up out of there. Uh, later on, like I showed you, that black piece of corrugated pipe is going to actually mount off the bottom of the bucket. And the pump shaft here is going to go all the way down through the center of it. And it's going to come out this hole in the bottom. And that's going to allow the pump end, the piece of PVC here, to stick down out the bottom of this and rotate freely around inside of here on the stabilizer so it can be drawn up water out of the pond. Let me go quickly over just the pump seal here. As you can see, it's very simply designed. Just a couple large washers. There's one on the bottom, gonna be hard to show you, uh, with a nut on there. And all I have done here is created a bent piece of metal so it would line up with the shaft. This is just a curtain rod from uh, some curtains. And uh, so very simple to make. You just have the leather protruding out just slightly as big as the PVC pipe you're going to use. Once this gets wet, that leather is going to swell and create a really good seal and help pump water. Uh, some of the things still left to do on this project here real quick is on this black piece of PVC is I have to create two one-way valves. Uh, one at the bottom there you can see and then one up a little higher that's going to be just at the end of the pump stroke. And that's going to allow water to come up the tube, and then on the downstroke of the pump, it's going to push the water outwards towards the direction of my thumb, out towards the uh, upper tank, and help water everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, when I've got this a little further along, this was Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show.